Item. SCP-508. Object Class. Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-508 requires no special containment procedures so long as it is kept out of direct view of any SCP staff. At least percent of SCP-508 must remain covered except when actively being tested. It is currently kept in a small closet, with no windows or ventilation. The door is to be kept securely locked at all times. If SCP-508 is to be tested, it may be sealed in an opaque container and transported to any environmentally sealed testing room available. Due to the potential risk resulting from its secondary effect, the room is to be sealed using positive pressure and sanitized using when the test is complete. Unless there is a strong need to preserve the test subject, they also should be sanitized using in the event that the subject must be retained. They should be held in quarantine for a period of no less than days. Description. SCP-508 appears to be a random dot stereogram poster. Of dimensions 255 by 197 centimeters. Caution must be taken when interacting with it. As even a cursory glance may fascinate the viewer. Giving them an overwhelming desire to properly view the hidden image. Viewing the image appears to only be possible when the viewer stands one meter in front of the image, and stares directly at it. Attempts to view the image via mirrors or having multiple subjects attempt to view it have failed, with only the properly positioned subject able to see the image. In testing, achieving proper focus to be able to view the image has taken an average of 93 seconds. Subjects exposed multiple times appear to view it more quickly, but never in less than 60 seconds. Once the viewer has achieved proper focus, the poster seems to function as a window to some other location. Effect 1. These locations range from the banal, for example, a view of the same room, but from the perspective of a different wall, to surreal and potentially maddening. C. In addition, the window appears to function bidirectionally, exposing the viewer to the gaze of whatever is being viewed. Regardless of the time required for the viewer to acclimate to the needed focus for the image, after the same amount of time has passed with the user viewing through the window, the interface appears to undergo a secondary change, effect 2, and becomes permeable although only to the viewer and the viewed subject area, see event log, and, the requirement for viewing appears to extend to the secondary effect, even in the case of event, where the subject was dismembered and pulled through the image, two other subjects in the test room were unaffected, 